Hey everybody, so in this video I am going to be using Autodesk Inventor and I'm going to show you how to create a very, very basic exploded view and a parts list. So what I want to do is I think I've already kind of created one very similar to this, but we're going to kind of go through the whole process here. So I want to make sure that I'm going to do an exploded view parts list of the flashlight that we designed earlier. So right now I'm in my Soma Cube project, so I want to get out of that one. I'm going to click on these little three dots, go to settings. I want to look for the um, flashlight, the flashlights. I'm going to use flashlight number two. That's the original one, not the redesign. You can choose to do whichever one you want, but uh, I just want to show you how to do this. So I'm going to go to apply done so there's our our flashlight so what I want to do is the first thing I want to do is to go to new so I created this in English units uh, I want to go down to where you see presentation standard IP IPN I'm gonna click on create And so it's going to ask you, okay, what assembly do you want to bring in? So if you didn't create your flashlight in an assembly, if it's just parts, or if it's only one part, you're not going to see it here. So shame on you for doing that. But anyway, so you need to have an assembly. So I'm going to create on flashlight. Click on open. I don't know why that hinges in my flashlight folder, but anyway. Um, and so also make sure that I'm going to be taking this, these pieces kind of apart, so I wanted to make sure that, that um, the button was on top. So if it's not, then what you would do is I would go to open, I'm going to go to that flashlight assembly, and I can kind of rotate this. So I wanted to make sure that when I, I pulled it from the, the parts or pulled it from the assembly that I had this thing oriented kind of at the top where I could just yank it straight up. So just kind of somewhere like this. You can also move these around too if you want because when I constrained them, I didn't, I didn't fully constrain them. I left it where I could rotate these around. But anyway, that's, I wanted to kind of make sure that that was at the top. And then let me close out of this one. And it should update it whenever you um, see it here. So then what I want to do is I am going to kind of pull these pieces apart. Like I said, I think I've already created a, a video similar to this, but I'm going to go to presentation. I'm going to, where it says scene one, the little plus sign, I'm going to click that plus sign. I'm going to click the plus sign next to flashlight. So these are all the parts that go to this assembly. So what I want to do is I'm going to start kind of at one end. So this lens right here, I'm going to click on the lens. I'm going to go to tweak components. And so I want to kind of pull this thing straight out. So I'm going to click on this arrow here and just kind of drag it kind of out a little ways. Even if it goes off your screen, that's okay. Um, Cause we can kind of zoom out later, but I'm going to move it about right here, which is about 2.5. And if you wanted to, you could type in 2.5. And then the next thing I want to do is to grab this kind of this kind of end cap here, whatever that's called. So that's going to be the end here. I'm going to click on tweak components. See how this is kind of oriented, orientated kind of at a rotated looking crazy angle. That's because I have this in local. So if I click on the local and hit the world, now it kind of straightens out. So I'm going to grab this arrow. I'm going to drag it out a little bit like so. I probably should have pulled these out further, but that's okay. I'm going to hit the check mark. And then, so I'm going to kind of leave this piece where it is. I want to grab this other end. So that's going to be the flashlight end. I'm going to hit tweak components. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the flashlight handle. That's what I want. Flashlight handle, tweak components. I'm going to click this arrow and drag it straight back.
that's pretty good hit the hit check mark so this one I don't have to move it because I've already got the I, I really wanted to let me zoom out a little bit I wanted to move this one out a little further so that these two are not kind of in the way of each other which I could still do if I wanted to click on flashlight lens go to tweak I could pull this out further because we're not animating it so really all I care about is the exploded view so there's that I could click on this end again tweak it just kind of pull it out to where they're not covering each other like so hit the check mark so if, if we were animating it then this right here down here would matter uh, but we're not animating this one so um, I'm just kind of worried about just kind of pulling them apart and then the last thing is this this button here so I'm gonna click on the button click tweak components now this one I'm just I'm not gonna move it front or back I'm gonna move it straight up kind of out of the way like somewhere around there and then I'm gonna hit the check mark so we kind of have this kind of pulled apart and then what, what you want to do the next thing you want to do is you want to click on where it says new snapshot view and it doesn't look like it did anything but it did and then we're gonna hit create drawing view and it says you must save it blah 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 do you want to save the document now we're gonna click yes I think I've already have a few of these so I'm gonna name, rename mine flashlight um, I think I already have 2025 I'm gonna just name mine flashlight 25 hit the save and now you're gonna get this this pops up so I want to click on here I want to click on standard IDW click on create so it gives us a drawing sheet so for my scale I want that one to one um, I want this to be the hidden line removed the shaded I can turn the shaded off I'll click that and then show trails we could turn the trails off um, or leave them on the trails are the little lines that you see I'm just gonna leave those on for now. Um, hit OK, and so we can click this. See how I, when I hover my mouse over, it kind of has those little red outline. You can kind of click this and drag it over. So notice it's really small compared to my drawing sheet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, right click on this red border. When you hover your mouse over, see how it lights up red. If you right click, go to Edit Sheet. So for this one, I want to make this, uh, I think, a B-size sheet. Click OK. Now grab those little red marching ant looking things. Kind of move this thing over in our drawing. So what I want to do first is I want to change some information in our title block. So the way that you do that is if you go up to the very top in your browser here when you, and right click it, go down to Eye Properties. So for summary, I'm going to put the title is going to be flashlight assembly. And then for author, you're going to put your initials or your name. I'm just going to put LCL here and then click on where it says project and give it a part number. I'm just going to give mine, I don't know, uh, one, two, three, four, five. It doesn't really matter. Just so you know how to do it. Um, and then you can hit apply. It kind of adds to our, our, in our title block here. Go to close. All right, so the next thing I do, I could do, I could go either way. So I could either add the parts list or I could add the, the bubbles first. So it doesn't matter which order you do it in. I think usually, I don't think, I know on the certification test, there's always a couple of questions I have to deal with knowing how to put in parts list bubbles, making a parts list. Um, it, it's fairly easy if you know how to do it. So that's kind of what the purpose of this is, just to kind of get you prepared for that and also to know how to do it because it's going to be important that you make parts lists and show people how your, your designs are assembled or disassembled. So. Without further ado, let me go up to where you see annotate. Let's add the parts list first. So under annotate, under parts list here, 
Now, uh, where it says select document, I'm gonna click this little down arrow. So there's the only document that I have is this flashlight assembly. I'm gonna click that. Structured view, parts only. So I'm gonna click on for this particular one, parts only. And then direction to wrap table, left or right. I'm gonna select right. Um, and then click OK. So here's a, kind of an outline of where this parts list is going to go. So you could kind of put this anywhere on your drawing. Normally what I would do is kind of place it right above the title block here and try to like set it right on top like so and then you can click you can click on it and click these little dots and drag it out so it kind of goes the whole width of your title block information so it kind of looks like it fits and it's part of it so it gives you the item numbers the quantity so there's one of each of those particular parts and then the, the whatever you name the parts it, it gives you those also um, so to add the bubbles what you want to do are the balloons bubbles balloons tomato tomato I'm gonna click on where you see balloon and I'm gonna click on the top one not the auto balloon but the top balloon and it doesn't really matter which one you start with. So let's say if I want to start my balloon uh, on this back piece, I'm just going to left click on it, kind of drag a bubble out, left click again, and then right click, hit continue. So that's part number one. It's also part number one to handle. So it kind of knows what's what, right? And then I'm going to go to part number, or the second part, which would be this middle piece drag it out left click right click hit continue this button here i'm going to add it over on the side so i'm going to left click left click right click continue and then this one left click left click right click continue so your line doesn't have to be straight. You could add it. You could click again and drag it out to the right to make like a little leg for it. But I'm just going to go with these little straight, straight lines. So this lens piece here, like for for let me show you for example. If I left click it and then drag it out, I could left click again and then right click and continue. So it makes like a little leg. I'll just leave it like that just to kind of show you. Um, so there's our parts they kind of match what's in our parts list nothing too really difficult with about that um, i think the hardest part is just kind of pulling these these parts kind of away from each other so that someone can see how they're assembled especially if there's a lot of pieces to it that might get kind of kind of congested but um, just make sure you save it i'm going to go save flashlight 25 idw that's an inventor drawing and then just hit save and we're good to go also you could if you wanted to if you double click the, the red outline again if you wanted it shaded you could hit this the one on the right click OK and it brings it in shaded because this is kind of it's kind of mushy looking here um, I'm trying to avoid that on this one here so I'm gonna uncheck that you could also have hidden lines here if you wanted by clicking this one. See now you can see the hidden lines behind it, which that's kind of cool. Um, it's just depending on what you want, what your instructors are wanting you to do. So I'm going to click this middle option to remove the hidden lines. If you want to turn the trails off, you can uncheck that. Hit OK. And now those little lines are gone. So anyway, that's kind of that's how you create a parts list, creating an exploded view. Uh, all right, so I'll stop talking now. All right, peace out.